Hi friends, this is Priyanka. Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we are going to make a cute and adorable tiny house inside of a shank. Now shank I think is also called um, a divine conch or a chank perhaps. <laughs> well, if you are not aware what a shank is, never mind. At the end of the video, once the drawing is complete, you will be able to recognize the kind of shell I am talking about. Now, uh, before I begin with the tutorial, I do want to confess, lately I have been, um, you know, really inspired by magical characters and the fairy tales and you know how everything is in place, you know, little leaves will have the dew on them and they would look just so awesome. So this is kind of a series of the same inspiration. I have done more um, tiny little houses inside of a mushroom. And I made another house inside of a watering can. It turned out so adorable. So please do stop by in my channel. I have listed the videos. Uh, but let's get back to this video first. So first I started with the door just because I wasn't sure how big, um, you know, of my shunk is gonna end up looking. So this is a very small square of paper. I mean, you can make it bigger, but this was kind of my test drive and it turned out pretty well. So um, I first gave in the details of the door. I'm using a normal black gel pen over here and uh, I started with the steps and the frame of the door along with a small window because as I said, I want to make sure that the emphasis is on the tiny house and not on um, you know the the second focus point would be uh, the conch and not the uh, you know the door so so I want the emphasis to be on the tiny house so first I did the pathway the you know the steps to the house and you know the other details the grass covering up and only at the later stage did I add the details for the shank now this is pretty much an easy picture um, this is not that difficult it is uh, I did fast forward it a bit uh, because I went really slow I was not using a pencil as you can see I straight away did it from um, a gel pen so I didn't want to end up making any mistakes and then redo the entire thing so otherwise if you have time if you're going to uh, make it with a pencil first it's a good idea at the beginning this way you can make sure that you know if there are any mistakes you can just erase them and redo the entire thing so this is just my take on yet another uh, magical you know item from the fairy tales so do let me uh, know in your in the comments below you know what do you think of this image and if you would want me to do more similar um, you know uh, tutorials for anything else you know maybe a fairy or anything out of the box you know I am just so fascinated these are so little drawings and yet they have so much of detail and they're so impressive once you put in the color and everything I mean this just brightens up any page you can use it I would say if you are not going to make an entire canvas or make an entire story around it you if you're using a journal you know to just document what you have done the entire day a little um, you know similar drawing at the bottom of the page just uh, enhances your uh, that daily activity just enhances your activity uh, it's not a plain page anymore well that's me so uh, thank you so much for watching if you're new here please do subscribe and i'll see you next time stay safe stay healthy bye bye